listening to One on One. Joining me once again is Dave Bush with Extraordinary Health Coaching. Dave, how are you doing today? Oh, I tell you, I am doing extraordinary. <laughs> and we have been talking motivation, getting active, getting out there, just doing something. But a lot of times doing that, it's a choice. You have to decide that's what you're going to do. That's true. You know, our, our lives are a sum total of the choices that we make and the actions that we take, Jimmy. And uh, so many of us are making the uh, just the, the complacent choice. You mm-hmm. know, and complacency is defined as the act of becoming self-satisfied, unaware of possible dangers. And as they say, even if you don't make a choice, you're still making a choice. So you may not be choosing to live an unhealthy lifestyle, but because you're not choosing to get moving towards a healthier life, as you begin to age, you are automatically going to become unhealthier. So I like to inspire people to start with making choices. Even the smallest choice can end up getting you started, and those compounded choices can make a huge difference over your lifetime. I made a choice uh, when I was out there. It was uh, 2007. I was uh, over 310 pounds. I was a uh, a former football player. I struggled with health uh, most of my years after getting out of football because I kind of fell out of the game. I didn't have Mm -hmm. a coach. I didn't have somebody that was there to call me to practice and to do the things in in life that they did when I was playing professional football with the Iowa Barnstormers. Holding you accountable. Yeah, just that accountability and structure. And I had kind of fallen out of the game. I had gone out of the idea of being accountable to myself. And I had made some bad choices, uh, almost unbeknownst to me, because I was making the same choices that I was making when I was a younger kid or a younger man. Mm -hmm. And I got to the point where I actually decided that I was going to become a a flip guy. I was at the Pella pool and I was actually uh, up on the the diving board and I thought, you know, this would be my opportunity to become a flip guy. I was always a big cannonball guy, Jimmy. I don't know know about you, but I could could get him wet a mile and a half away. I bet you could. I could put a big splash out. But for me, it was something where I uh, decided I had watched these kids that were doing flip flips and I thought, you know what, I think I could do that. I had always been the guy that gave up on on making that choice to become the flip guy. And so what I did is I, I went out there and I tried. And I tried to do the flip and guess what I ha- guess what happened? Uh, you flopped? A flop. Yep, a huge <laughs> back flop. I failed. But you know what I learned that day, Jimmy, was is that failure can lead to success. Mm-hmm. And as I got into a flip, I realized I didn't get enough of a flip around to get to where I wanted to go. But I didn't decide to give up. I decided to keep failing forward. And moving forward, I got back on that diving board, and I tried again, and I flopped. But I didn't flop as bad as I did the first time. So if you're out there today and you've maybe you failed in your healthy lifestyle choice, and most of us have, most of us have fallen off the, uh, the diet wagon and we got back on again or the exercise wagon, don't give up. Because if Dave Bush can become a flip guy on his third time on the diving board, maybe you can end up getting healthier as well. Well, and there's kind of a misconception because we always keep calling them diets. And the reality is, again, it's a choice. It's a life choice. It's what you're going to do to change what you're doing. As they always say, the whole insanity thing, you keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. Or if you're doing it the same way, the same time, every time, what's going to change if you're not changing anything? Right. Yeah. I mean, 85% of dieters that just go on a diet and change their nutrition or their exercise program without changing their lifestyle, gain their weight back within two years of losing it. That's according to the National Weight Control Registry that tracks all different types of diets. So it's not just one diet. It's all dieters that don't change their behaviors long term are going to gain their weight back. And that's a sobering statistic. But the reality of it is is that you can change your lifestyle and become part of those 15% by just focusing in on a different mentality. Rather than trying to get rid of a problem like, you know, uh, saggy muscles and trying to get rid of a problem like excess weight, focus on the life that you want to live and the life that you want to create. You can still have that piece of pizza. You can still have that beer, but it's the choices that you are making before and after that so you're able to enjoy that. So you can still have the beer with the kids. I mean, the, the pizza with the kids. That might I guess be a little crazy. Having, of course, you might I, be having the beer just because you're dealing with the kids and their friends, but, <laughs> but, I mean, but you can still you know do that. Because I remember me growing up, every Friday night we went out as a family. We went and we had pizza every Friday night. Uh, it's not saying you have to give that up. It's just 
You don't need to eat an entire pizza by yourself. Right. Everybody's a little different. Some people may need to go away from pizza while they're trying to get down to a healthy body weight. Other people, if they're exercising like you, Jimmy, you like going to the gym. Not everybody likes going to the gym and working off that pizza. And sometimes if you really understood what it took to burn off an extra couple of pieces of pizza, maybe you'd say no for a certain time period until you got to a healthy body weight. And then you could reincorporate pizza and ice cream and some of those things in the right portion sizes. Right. It's all about not overindulging when you do things. Right. Portion distortion is something that we suffer from in America all over the place. (laughs) Dave Bush, thank you again for chatting chatting with us. He's with Extraordinary Health Coaching, and if they have questions, they want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? we got a lot of great videos and things at ehealthcoaching.com. That's the letter E, the word health, and the word coaching with a dot com at the end. Thank you for listening to One on One. Have a great day.